Hi everyone, I hope you are learning well. In this video, we are going to solve problem 7 from chapter 1 of Solid State Physics by M.A. Wahab. And the chapter name is Atoms and Crystals. Let's see the problem statement and then we'll dive into the solution. The problem statement says, calculate the number of atoms per unit cell for rock, salt, crystal. Okay, what we have to find is the number of atoms per unit cell for rock, salt, crystal. Given A equals 5.63 angstrom, A is the lattice parameter. Alright, molecular weight of NaCl is given which is net 58.5 and the density is given to be 2180 kg per meter cube. So given that information, we have to find out um, the number of atom per unit cell which is very easy to find. Let's quickly get into the solution. So we are given weight, say first we'll write a data and we need to find our number of atoms per unit cell that we denote by capital N letter okay we need to find out this and uh, we are given with lattice parameter which is a equals 5.63 angstrom and angstrom is equals to 10 to the power minus 10 meter we all know so we need to put it right here in the data part so that it may become easy for us to put the direct values so molecular weight of NaCl which is represented by capital M okay uh, that is equals to 58.5 this is in gram per mole units okay we have to convert it into kg before inserting it into the formula because we all know the rule that all the quantities should be in SI unit before inserting into a standard formula. So uh, 58.5, let's multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power plus 3 so that it is mathematically consistent. Gram per mole remains the same. We know that K, which is kilo, is equal to 10 to the power positive 3. So this one will be converted into K while all of the quantities will remain the way they are because we wanted k in our you know unit so k is involved here now this is in si unit and we can simply put it into the equation and we know uh, we are given with the density which is 2180 kg per meter cube it is in si unit that's perfect all right now we have the data and we'll now use the formula to find out what we are seeking which is you know capital n we know that that the formula for the density is given by rho equals total mass of unit cell divided by the volume of unit cell and we have rock salt crystal and it is cubic in nature okay to be specific it is fcc in shape so um but it's important to know that it's cubic right now because it's FCC nature doesn't matter here in the question mass of unit cell is equals to the number of atoms per unit cell multiplied by mass of each atom okay divided by the volume of unit cell which is a cube because it's cubic okay total mass of unit cell is given by capital N multiplied by the mass of each atom okay each system your e unit uh, which in that case is nacl and um, we can easily find out um, its net mass and we are interested in capital n that is why i'm taking all of the quantities a cube is dividing here so it will be multiplied on the other side of the equation and this small m will be divided here so that n is left now that is needed to be calculated as well and uh, capital N is equals to rho A cube by small m. Now, we don't know small m what it is, but we know the molar mass. And there is a definite formula that gives you the mass of single atom whenever you need it. Okay. So, we know that in rough work, you can write since we know that the mass of single atom is equals to molar mass divided by Avogadro's number. Okay, if you want to find out the mass of single atom, only one atom, only one unit, for example, it's a compound, um, NaCl is a molecule compound, ionic compound, so it's one unit, you can 
uh, it's one quantity you can take NaCl as as a whole one quantity so you want to find out the mass of this single molecule so what you will do is to divide the molar mass by Avogadro's number and you will get the mass so we'll simply plug this value right into this equation so that it's capital M in the de denominator and this Na will jump in the numerator jump to the numerator okay let's quickly put uh, their values and we'll get what we wanted so let me put their values right into this expression we know rho is 2180 a is 5.63 multiplied 10 to the power minus 10 and its whole cube Na is Avogadro's number and we know that Avogadro's number is equal to 6.023 multiplied 10 to the power 23 okay and a molar mass in SI unit is this so you will put this value 58.5 multiplied 10 to the power minus 3 here let me put it okay I have inserted all of these values into this expression and now we need to use the calculator and I have used the calculator and the answer that I'll, I got is n equals 4 okay let me show it here it is you can see it okay it's a simple calculation don't forget that it's cube over this a uh, this our uh, a value okay so this is the number and it has no unit because it's a number or you can say it's n equals four atoms or molecules and SEL molecules per unit cell okay that is it that's the answer and yeah we'll meet in next video the solutions to other problems are uploaded as well. You can find them in Solid State Physics by M.A. Wahab Solutions playlist. Yes, there is a dedicated playlist to this book's problems and solutions where you can find out only the problems and solutions if you are interested in derivations and conceptual videos related to Solid State Physics. Then you can find them in Solid State Physics 1 and Solid State Physics 2 playlist. And I have made other playlists as well which are dedicated to other books related to solid state physics for example material science and engineering by clusters uh, by cluster solutions playlist they, this is the playlist where you'll find out the solutions uh, to problems related to that book specifically and there are other books as well like solid state physics by rk puri solid state physics by jp Srivastava, solid state physics by kittel so different books different playlist each playlist contains that specific specific books solutions and problems okay that's something that i have done for your convenience so that you can find them easily and even if you can't find the problem you're looking for so please comment and i'll link that video in the comment section in your reply or i'll make one okay so take care goodbye subscribe and share it to other people thank you so much